And I want to encourage you, let us all join hands and support housing and slum upgrading. You know the PS uh, Charles Hinga is my friend. They put this man through a very old was the other day he was sweating. Please sit down. You know the PS is asking me that he needs my support in affordable housing. PS. Affordable housing, slum upgrading, is the baby of William Ruto and I. We need your support, not the other way around. <laughs> how do you ask somebody to, how do you be uh, shahodi kwa nyumba yako? He's asking me to support what I believe in, what my boss believes in, and that's why I'm here. The president was here. I'm here because this program has commitment at the highest level of government, the presidency. And I want to urge all the players, the architects, the quantity surveyors, the engineers, the planners, the contractors, we join hands and dignify the people of Kenya and things are going to work out. Again, another irony, I've seen some very good programs from Kibera, the biggest slum in this country. As we try to do slum upgrading in Kibera and other slums, Madare, Korogosho, a character who was a leader there for 20 years and did nothing about slum upgrading is shouting from the rooftop that we shouldn't do housing. And he was there. He saw the squalor, the shame of people using flying toilets, people living in abject poverty, total indignity. And we have a program now to dignify those people, give them some affordable housing because they deserve dignity because it's in our constitution. And a fellow they elected for 20 years, believing in him, he is shouting at the rooftop that this program should not happen. Just how unfair can you be? How unfair can you be to people who have been so nice to you? These are people who have given you leadership for 20 years. You did nothing for them. Somebody else has come to say, let's do something for them. You did nothing for them. They gave you leadership, and then you are trying to stop it. I don't know. I don't understand. I think I'm lost. I, I don't understand people in this country anymore. Why would anybody is in his right frame of mind have a problem with slum upgrading? Why would anybody in his right thinking have a problem with having affordable housing for Kenyans so that they can live with dignity? We don't understand. 